and chew them with our mouth. Saliva is released with salivary amylase and mucus. The bolus goes to the back of the throat and we swallow it. The esophagus takes the bolus to the stomach via peristalsis. When food reaches the stomach, gastrin is released. Gastrin causes the release of the gastric juices, HCl, mucus, and pepsinogen. HCl kills the bacteria in the food and creates a pH of 2.5. The stomach mixes the food around. The acid chyme is slowly released into the duodenum through the pyloric sphincter. When the fats reach the duodenum, two hormones are released, secretin and CCK. Secretin causes the release of the pancreatic juices, and CCK causes the release of bile from the gallbladder and an additional release of the pancreatic juices. Sodium bicarbonate neutralizes the pH of 8.5 so all the enzymes can work at their optimum pH. Bile emulsifies the fats into small droplets. Lipase breaks the small fat droplets into fatty acids and glycerol. Fatty acids and glycerol move into the lacteals of the villi. The lacteals are connected to the lymphatic system and take fatty acids and glycerol to the subclavian vein in the shoulder. The fatty acids and glycerol move through the subclavian vein into the vena cava and into the heart. The heart pumps the fatty acids around the body to be used for insulation protection of the organs, and energy storage of fat cells. The remainder of the digestible food continues into the large intestines. Water is re reabsorbed from the feces, and the feces continue on until the anal sphincter is relaxed and the feces leave the body.